such an ignorant question that I have to restrain myself from slapping them around the head, uh, or at least metaphorically or verbally. Um, if somebody said that to me and say, really? Give me an example. And you know what they'll do? They'll go, Galileo. I'm going, uh-huh. So your example's 500 years old and you don't even know about that, the politics involved and everything. Oh, well, uh, uh, you're against abortion. But wait a minute, how's that modern medicine? That's not modern medicine. Medicine about healing people. Oh, well, uh, um, uh, you know, and they'll quote evolution or stem cell research or whatever. And they don't really know what they're talking about. How I would respond, though, in reality, for someone who's serious about it, is I would say, as regards to science, I would ask, well, what is science? I would use Richard Dawkins, the atheist scientist, who agrees that without monotheism, Christianity and Islam in particular, but especially Christianity and Judaism, actually, that modern science couldn't exist because before them, people believed the universe was chaos. Now, uh, after belief in one God who's the creator of an ordered universe, you can study it. If it's not ordered, you can't study it. If it is ordered, you can study it. So I actually think that um, you will find that Christianity, but in particular Protestant Christianity with its spirit of free inquiry and free thinking, um, that that encourages science. Modern medicine, I would just simply say, again, come to my church. Sorry, guys. Uh, one place you want to get sick is in my church. There's 25 doctors. Um, I, I go to my local hospital. I don't ever want to get sick because I know half the staff. Um, it, it's the, the notion that Christianity is against modern medicine is as ludicrous as uh, saying that Scottish people are mean. We're open and generous. And Christianity is very much pro-modern medicine without Christians. You, supposing the rapture occurred and all the Christians were taken away, the modern medical system would collapse. Um, so I, it, it's just a question that's asked out of sh sheer prejudice and ignorance. And I would just gently lead them into, well, maybe sometimes not so gently, but uh, overall I would gently lead them into uh, considering the foundation of modern science, the foundation of modern medicine, and the current involvement of Christians in both.